In this session, I'm going to show you how to manually create a class in the new Office 365 Microsoft Classroom. So, Microsoft Classroom is a new feature available in Office 365 Education in the UK and the US. So, you select that Microsoft Classroom icon and it just loads up. So, to begin with, you'll find that you don't have any classes automatically unless you have some MIS integration. So, we can create a new one by clicking Add Class and just typing in a name of that class. It has to be unique because this uses Office 365 groups. So it has to be available. That address is available that I've just typed in. And I'll just press create. So in the background, this is going to set up a OneDrive, uh, which will allow us to set up a class notebook and a few other things in the background. Let's go set up a calendar. Um, so to begin with, I'm just going to add another teacher to this, uh, to this class. So yeah, add one of my colleagues at this uh, demo school. So that's going to add him so he can also teach this class. And then I'm going to add some students to this, uh, to this group. So you can add people manually like I'm doing here. You could have your class information come through automatically from your MIS provider, something like Sims or Seamus, um, if you have some third party MIS integration software. So I can, like I said, I can select all these manually, add them to the class. And you'll see you've got a mute button here where you can stop them from responding. And you've also got a bin icon next to them so you can remove them uh, from the class if you needed to update your membership. If I go to manage, while well, that's setting up, you can see it's setting up the OneDrive. It takes, you know, it can take a good 15, 20 minutes to set that up. So in here, I'm just going to fill in some information. So I can give it a term name and a start date and an end date. So I'm just going to make this for the summer term. So you're quite restricted with the sort of customization you can, to, you can do to these sites at the moment. Um, I'll show you in a minute that you can pick a color. Um, so you can pick a color here. You can pick an icon if you want to. So you've just got quite a limited number of icons. You can't upload your own um, at the moment. So being as this is English, I'll choose something that looks like a, a newspaper icon. And you can choose a cover photo. And again, you can't upload your own, so some of these are fairly irrelevant unless you're teaching geography um, because they just seem to be um, you know, outdoor scenes on there. So I can put in a, a description of my class, which people can see. Um, and when I'm ready to activate the class, I press the uh, that's pink, purple, activate class button at the top. And that makes the, the class now active and will appear for students and for teachers who teach that class. So you see, a lot of the options are still greyed out. If I go to this one that I've just created slightly earlier, you can see it's setting up the calendar. So even that will take a while to set up once it's set up the OneDrive. But once this goes live, you'll then be able to set assignments to that group, um, have a shared calendar, um, that people can see in their Outlook online, uh, have a discussion board with them, a class notebook, and let them upload some files. So it's, it's pretty good, and I'll go through the rest of functionality in the next video.